Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, join me on the tour of the downtown Hamilton Salvation Army Thrift Store. Uh, this one has a little bit of a special in it in that uh, Westwood Avenue will be giving us a very brief explanation of a piece of glassware. There we are. We're just entering. Just after entering, we've got all these uh, racks of clothes. And we're going to go through these. I'm looking for the men's shirts. These kind of look like them, but they are not. They're all women's uh, upon closer examination. So here I am still looking around. because I didn't see the signs up above like some stores have. Well, if you're here, you might as well look at uh, what there is in this area. There's some scarves, and I've got some of those in use. That's uh, We're just always keeping that eye open for those uh, curious items that are useful uh, okay here we seem to have found the men, some of the men's stuff these are the jackets nothing in particular catches the eye except of course the ones that are supposed to catch your eye the safeties and the LPs kooky country huh. oh, collection of bins, CDs, books pants ah here's the shirts you may actually recognize this one uh, i think it's the one i use for my little avatar symbol off we go we continue on and we see these small housewares and some clothing now the hard goods, the glass, some of the glassware is here, some plastic goods on this side. Ah, even some Keurig pods. Well, I guess they're ones that somebody didn't like or some store decided they could donate them to the Salvation Army. They chose to put them in the thrift store. So here we are. Nothing really grabs the eye here. At this point, I had started to look for Westwood Avenue. I thought maybe she was over in the women's clothing again, but no, she wasn't. Here we are, ceramics, darks and lights, framed prints, and there's Westwood Avenue. We'll be talking to her in a little bit. Front window, they got some just interesting dis long long items that you could usually deals would be for the fall sometimes in the summer so we got the children's stuff uh, oh yes here we are some more so these are some of the nicer small appliances there's a box that's 18 bucks for the sunbeam the robotics kit on top that end up being missed on um, any closer examination. The Keurig's a little pricey, I thought. Anyway, I don't need either of them. I'm uh, not a coffee drinker, so that doesn't help me at all. But I thought you'd enjoy seeing some of these things. Here's a cart in, in front of the red. And back we are into the ceramics, taking a slight closer look, and back to the front. I'm not sure. Oh, there's there's that cute little wooden horse. Oh, rhinoceros. Didn't get it, but I thought it was kind of cute to focus on for a bit. Some of these other things. 
some greens in this area, the yellows. Bit of artwork and oh, these there were things blocking this set of shelving on my first visit up here. So here we are looking at the blues. They've got a nice selection of the blues. I'm sure that uh, somebody will appreciate those. You can see the traffic on King Street in Hamilton. On the other side there. This store was a uh, shopper's drug mart uh, location that sold the... Um, as they call them appliances, the wheelchairs, the lift chairs, large items, that, but they didn't sell the pharmaceuticals directly. Those you went to a regular pharmacy for. So, they, these, uh, they did have a, a good size store. Here we are, we're just looking at some of something on this. There's some might have been something on a shelf above that I'd been checking out, but apparently it wasn't worthy of being shown. Back to these reeds and rushes and dried, dried tall goods, dried flowers. They're just for, nice for decoration for some people. If you've got the space for them, they're great. Some other glassware and crystal. Sometimes they throw in the crystal. They didn't realize that's what they've actually done. I third one and they're all different. Oh, the bottoms are all different? Or yeah, the, top the bottoms part? are all different. This is uh, Jeanette. Look at that. After a little lesson on Jeanette produced a cake stand, we're off and running again with our magpie eye looking for the things that catch our eye. Well, we repeat some of that part and ah, here we are. Oh, this was an interesting piece, but upon closer examination, if you look there carefully, there's a crack in there. Whether it was induced during and created when it was being made or if it was made afterwards is irrelevant. The value is shot. And into the dark ceramics. And some glassware. I don't. I, I don't get it. Sometimes they mix up this stuff. So, looking at these, you never know what you're gonna find here. Ah, yes, the stainless steel little vase. They were more popular in the '60s. If you're somebody's trying to work on a vintage 60s look, they would definitely be something to inc incorporate into your designs. And, oh yes, uh, we move along. Women's coats, the greens, uh, larger, larger uh, items in greens. It is St. Patrick's Day that was coming up at that point. Can't quite make it out in the video. There's the St. Patrick's Shamrocks. So here we are. We are taking a bit of a closer look this on this visit. Using a my effort looking at things because Westwood Avenue is busy looking at other things. Uh, it looks like one of those Portuguese ones. I'm not sure if it is, but it's an interesting joke. Bon Appetit. Fairly contemporary piece. Little pears. That's uh, probably resin manufacturer. Here we are, we're looking at these other things here. Trying to decide. Uh, yes, those are typically have the little notches 
that are along the edge, at least some of them are chipped. Once they're chipped, they don't have as much of a value in the, in the collector glass area. This I think is a candle wick. I'm not sure, but it's okay. We're not looking for any. Some, sometimes they add some uh, en engravings onto them. Some people take look at it as taking away from the whole look. Others uh, look just for the engravings. Depends on what's going on. Ah, yes, the ubiquitous sheet metal bucket. At least it's a little bit less than the dollar ammo. I'll have to explain that one when we get to the the season when we st galvanized pots here get into use or the galvanized pails get into use in our household here. So here we are, we're still continuing to look at some of the metalware. Nothing in particular is grabbing us. Oh yes, it looks like a dustpan, but it's probably a spatula. It could be used either way. It's a sil silicon head. I believe these are sold in Dollarama as well. Nothing of great value there. Pots and pans. I keep looking for cast iron. If I can find them at a good price and a the right branding or markings on them. For a while I was finding lots of them. I haven't been finding so many for the last little while. Not sure what this cup was about, but... Oh. Okay. Hugging day. That's always a nice thing to have. Good old unicorn. Nothing in particular there, but as we come up to some of these clothes, so I saw these uh, amber flashed mugs. Sadly, they were marked at five nine four ninety nine each. Yeah, there was quite a few of them, like eight, which is a nice grouping. I mean. Uh, I don't remember seeing a, a jug or anything for them. It's just the mugs. And it makes for a very expensive grouping of, of probably good for coffee. But I'd be risking it if I said you can put coffee in those. If it's hot, hot. Iced coffee would be okay in them. I don't know if you'd want to drink it out of that, though. Blue vase, swung, style. And here we are. Still some more glass to just make sure we haven't missed anything. 